Jesus A tiger about to break loose In no cage contain me You're about to know the truth Good morning everyone. We are here in front of Deadwood Cycles. It's a beautiful morning. We got a great plan. What's up? So hey, we've been here during rally. We're showing you pre-rally. Today is all about riding. We're going to take you on some of the best rides in South Dakota. And thankfully, we have a tour guide from Legend Suspension <laughs> and Zach. And you've seen him in other drops. So Zach? I'm excited. These are some of the best roads in South Dakota. Uh, it's going to be a good time. So let's get to it. Let's go. Look at this tunnel, boys. Woo! Look at that. So we're headed into the town of Keystone, guys. Interested to see how many bikes are sitting down the street. Well, we've gotten pretty dang lucky with weather so far. Perfect morning, great temperature. We had some uh, fans that recognized us and went along with us for a couple miles on the way in here, and then they split off to go, uh, I guess, hit Needles Highway. Yeah, they're from Texas, and they're on Gold Wings, and they're, they run all over the country. Look at that flag up there, boys. Woo! So yeah, this is going to be interesting to see because this town is usually packed. We always stop here, grab a beer, a hot dog, or whatever it is. Uh, but it's kind of a cool little mining town. Usually you see bikes lined up, people hanging off the balconies. Uh, just a nice little stop. Generally have to also park down the street here if there's no parking on the street. But uh, completely dead. Well, wait, there's a bike. So look for a spot, let's stop and grab a beer and, and show oh, the yeah. girls kind of what we do. Hey, here we are in Keystone, South Dakota. This is a, a town that we always stop in on the way to, to uh, Mount Rushmore. What are hey, we doing? We're sitting here watching the premiere. Uh, over the balcony, there's like only four bikes and there are ours. There's no bikes present whatsoever. <laughs> It's pretty awesome to be cruising around with this going on. It is, and it's nice to have Zach with us, and he's actually chiming in here on the, the live. And, <laughs> right. Uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. If you, if you haven't seen it yet, go back and look at it. It's a great run from Monterey to Big Sur with a very inspirational message behind it. So we'll see you up at Mount Rushmore. Boom. Wait to show them uh, up close and personal what these uh, monuments look like. It's going to be great. The wives are going to really enjoy this. Glad we're here, boys. Next stop after we get through here, we're going to try to get over to Crazy Horse. But let's go check it out. Yeah. So it's amazing to be here right now. I mean, there's people here, but there's not the crowds that you're used to in the summer, and there's really like no bikes in the parking lot. Yeah, I love the reverence of these statues. It just brings you back to, you know, true America. Um, I really love the fact that the ladies, uh, I think Laura saw it when she was like nine or 10 or something, right? right? right. But she doesn't remember completely. Right. And it's really great to see them at this age be able to come in and I mean, Teresa really? was here before too, but she was a kid, right? No. Did she say that? She's no, never I don't think been so. here? So we just sent them downstairs into the museum. There's such a lot of great history there. Um, you need to go check that out. But you've got this row of flags, and last year when we walked up through there, we had two or three people stop and say hello, we follow you. We also signed a, a hat here as an autograph for a young man that followed us. So pretty so this cool. This is great. You're here, we're here, there's no rally going on, and, and it's kind of like we're riding around these hills just it's, reckless abandon. It's amazing <laughs> to me. There's not that many motorcycles or cars 
Um, but next stop, we're going to go to, to uh, Crazy Horse. Yeah, I mean, this is a beautiful structure. We've never seen Crazy Horse, so I'm kind of stoked on that. Well, let's go find it. Boom. Here we are. I'm amazed, quite frankly, that we've never come up here. It's only half a mile off the road, and we're sitting here at Crazy Horse. Well, we usually don't come up here because there's 10 of us going 125 miles an hour ripping down the highway. Well, today we got to take our time and check it out. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, this thing started back in 1948, so some 73 years ago. Uh, Henry, Henry Standing Bear and the chiefs that were surrounding him wanted the white man to know that the red man actually had heroes too. Awesome, you know yeah. the, what's really amazing is that thing is 600 plus feet long, about 500 plus feet tall, and there's an outreached arm that's like 250 feet long. Yeah, I wish we could get around to see that, but uh, they're still working on it, so. How long do you think it'll take? I don't know. Is it, it needs I, funding, right? It, it, I think they're getting funding slowly by, and slowly, and it's just gonna take years to build it, but what a great dedication to him. People looked up to this man. The Lakota were very upset when the treaty was broken, and so this is a way to pay homage. Right, well, a treaty broken is never good, but no. what's really cool, even in this, si in this position right now, being worked on and built, still has a really grand look to it. For sure. So we need to get down to Custer real quick, then we're gonna wrap and go up the 87 and get into Needles National Park there, a national monument there, uh, back down into the Game Lodge. Are we going that way or this way? We're going that way, that way, or let's that go, way. Let's go, let's go, let's <laughs> go. It's time to start living and get a reason for the ride. I don't wanna be dead wrong on the deadline, standing on the dark side and all out of time. Like a blind pain of mom's fantasize, climb up a zone, light it through the sunshine. Nothing's mine that hasn't been given And no one's alive here that hasn't been risen For 19 years I was trapped in the prison Feeling my escape by means of derision But every man-made attempt just failed When trapped in the jail of my own guilt, shame and iniquity You got yours on? I sure do, man. I got to tell you, this South 87 here going through needles is just incredible. The girls are seeing something spectacular, and there's really no bikes here. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I mean, there's cars here, there's tourism that's happening, but there's that line of bikes is not here at the moment. And most of the time, we're out in the open in the, in the highway. Yeah, and uh, I was thinking a little bit earlier, sometimes uh, when we see situations like we're in right now, we're by the guy. But that's just how it works. But he's going to pull over and then we're back on the open road here. Yeah, there's a couple guys riding. Well, let's look at this. This is a really fun road to ride. Makes for an exciting day. Yeah, I mean, the beauty never ends, right? Nope. Let's get down to uh, the game lodge down in the park there and make our way back to Deadwood. That sounds like a plan, my friend. All right, brother. I think the wives are really enjoying this, too, by the way. I agree 100%. They are. So, all right, let's get to the lodge. See you down the road. Down that road.
beautiful ride down the 87 uh, through Needle, showing the ladies that. Totally awesome. Incredible. Love it. Uh, we're here at the State Game Lodge. Uh, we're just outside of Custer State Park. You know, we did some history on this last year when we were here in Sturgis. And 1927, well, the, the lodge itself was established in 1919. In 1927, President Coolidge and his family occupied this, and they called it the Summer White House. And then after that, Dwight Eisenhower uh, in 1953 came in here. But it's just spectacular. It's very beautiful, you know, and, and when you're in here, you see all this wonderful wildlife and everything. And I got something to say about the wildlife. I see signs that say, watch out for buffalo. I see people talk about buffalo. I see this <laughs> supposed buffalo right here. But I want everyone to know, I didn't know either, but I know now they're called bison. Buffalo are on the continent of Africa and India. Well, uh, for some reason, they've called them buffalo, and we'll figure that out I, one day. Maybe the buffalo plug nickel, I don't know. <laughs> but hey, so look, we've seen mountain goats, we've seen bison, we've seen deer, wild turkeys today. I mean, when we're generally here, we don't see as much wildlife out, and I love seeing it. Yeah, so let's good get times. A, let's go in and have a libation. We got to do a little filming this evening, have some dinner with our friends from Legend. Which way are we going? That, that way. way. today uh, saw some really great spots showed the ladies that the first time here Rushmore Custer uh, what crazy horse went to the I guess it's the state game lodge but we're here with our friends Zach and Mary having dinner tonight uh, so enjoyable great people what do you think well we did have a great day it was awesome I mean we saw so many great things we didn't get to the 16a so, but that's okay. That's how it happens. And uh, now we're going to eat because we're really hungry. What do we have? Zach, what do you have over there? Turf. Surf and turf, steak medallions with shrimp on top, mashed potatoes. It's going to be good. Not bad. I've got the Asian chicken, I should say, with the sesame salad. Mary? I went with the filet mignon. It looks great. And I've got the chicken, butternut squash chicken gnocchis. And I've got the surf and turf, just like Zach over there. Well, hey, surf and turf's going down right here as well. What does Josh have? Oh, surf he has and surf and turf as well. Josh is not with us anymore. <laughs> oh, don't Where's say he? that. Oh, no, he's behind the camera. There he is. But one, one reason we missed the 16A, we were able to get in and get an exclusive interview with the Boar's Nest prior owner and new owner. First time in history. First time. We got it. So let's eat, guys. Let's eat. Boom. So it's our last night in Deadwood, and we have had one heck of a good four days here. Um, Teresa and I have never been to the rally, Sturgis, Deadwood, ever. And so to be able to come here when it's not the rally time and experience it at just more of a calm um, time was, a, I think, a nice way to, to come for the first time. And I look forward to coming back at rally. Yeah, it really we was. We, we did a lot of cool things other than just seeing the streets. We did uh, tours, history, and I really loved that. I would definitely come back again too. To Rally? To Deadwood. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll get her to come to Rally with me. <laughs> well, look, look, this was our attempt to show you uh, Sturgis and Deadwood and some of the Mount Rushmore uh, Crazy Horse pre-Rally. And it's amazing to me that there are not that many motorcycles around. Um, the riding is spectacular when there's not that many. It's fun when there's a bunch here, but it's way better when it's not. And the people here are just extraordinary. And we got to see them yeah. a little bit more outside of Raleigh and experience the hospitality from them. For sure. 
small town hospitality. Definitely. What and think, shout Kelsey? out to Carolyn and Rose. Rose. Yes. And to Mary and Zach. For sure. Yeah. And to everyone that has been so kind to us while we've been here. Well, I will say that uh, there was a lot of hustle and bustle in the town of Sturgis, a lot of cars, a lot of people doing their thing, no bikes. It had a completely different look than it has at the rally. I mean, you wouldn't even know you're in the same town. You come to Deadwood, same vibe going on, no bikes, hustle and bustle, a lot of action, a lot of people doing their thing, but the town looks exactly the same because it's so historic in, in the buildings. But Wonderful journey. We're gonna be heading out to uh, Kingman, Arizona. So we're like, we got a long ride ahead of us. We're dropping the girls off at the airport tomorrow morning. They get to fly home, we get to ride home. But this will close this series. Yes. And what a great series it's been. Awesome. For sure. So, so hey. what do they need to do? They need to subscribe. Ring that bell. Comment. And give us a thumbs and up. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> hey. Notification, please. Hey, we'll see you down there. <laughs>